Hello everyone, this is Ansh from Bitten Tech and in this video we are going to talk about the basic input output system or the BIOS of a computer. And what is this BIOS and what does it do and why is it necessary? So okay, let's get started. As you all might know that our computer needs hardware as well as software to run. The softwares are executed when you start the computer automatically or manually when you execute them. The hardwares that are attached to the computer like keyboard, mouse, printer, speakers, scanners, etc. are categorized into input and output devices. These devices have to be attached to the system so that the softwares which depend on them are able to work. So to ensure that all the input and output devices are connected to the system and are working properly, we needed a separate well-defined system which was named as BIOS. So what is BIOS? The BIOS is an integrity program which is the first program to run when you start your computer and which the microprocessor uses to start the computer when you turn it on. It does the work of hardware initialization and checks whether all the hardware needed to start the system are well intact and connected. If this condition becomes true, it passes the message to the microprocessor that the system is ready to work. So when you start your computer, you switch on the CPU and the power goes to the microprocessor chip embedded inside the motherboard. The microprocessor provides the power to the BIOS to check whether all the attachments are in place. The operating system is loaded only after the BIOS has done the integrity check. BIOS also works as a data flow optimizer which makes data to directly flow from the devices to the memory which is favorable in some cases. The BIOS comes bundled with the system when you bring it home because no computer can start without the BIOS. There are four basic functions of a BIOS. First, the power on self-test. It tests the computer hardware to make sure that it meets all the requirements to start the system and there are no errors before loading. Second, the bootstrap loader. Locating the operating system. If a capable operating system is found, it passes the message to start it. Third, the BIOS drivers. The basic drivers required for the computer hardware to operate them over the operating system. Fourth, the CMOS setup. The CMOS chip stores the basic information like time of the system clock and the BIOS settings which you changed recently. It keeps running even when your computer is switched off. So this was the basic information about the basic input output system. I hope you liked it. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel to get more of such technical information in the future. So until next video, stay tuned, keep watching and goodbye.